Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today I'm realizing that Hell on Earth takes longer, because that was 18 minutes. <laughs> Hell on Earth takes longer than Suicidal. So they are uh, going to be longer episodes, which is good, I guess, to a certain extent, because it means that um, our episodes are just longer, which is cool. I forgot to start with this one after choosing a map. My bad. I'm trying to get into choosing a map, because uh, the big thing about... YouTube is don't have these like wasteful times at the moment. You want to jump right into the action. Have something to hook in the viewer immediately, right? And a loading screen? Sorry to tell you, but <laughs> I don't think that's it. So this is going to be episode 102, I believe. That's pretty cool. Another 10 episodes to go after this. That's not bad. I, uh, I'm excited to get back to RuneScape 3 after, uh, after this. I'm excited to play more of this and have... Uh, more wins and, and losses. <laughs> um, but I'm also excited to get back into RuneScape 3 because I bought a bunch of uh, stuff overnight last night on the Grand Exchange and then uh, I'm going to process that all for probably like 15 to 20 mil profit in about two hours, which is uh, not too shabby for, for a couple hours of work and some uh, some XP. It's not bad. I'm, I'm excited to go do that. I was going to do it before I started because I was like, I don't know, I'm probably going to be like too distracted thinking about that and being excited about that. I'm not super rich in RuneScape 3, by the way. So like, 10 to 20 mil is... I mean, that's that's like 10% of my cash stack. Or not my cash stack, but like my total overall wealth is probably around the 200 to 300 mil range. Um, anyway, I'm excited to get back to that after this. And I was going to I was gonna leave it for after recording. Uh, I was, I was going to leave that... I was going to leave the recording for after that, because I felt like I might be too distracted. And to a certain extent, I kind of am. But I also just wanted to get the recording done with early in the morning. I had to wait a little bit longer, because we had... Uh, we got, like, a, an ant problem upstairs. And it's been a bit challenging um, for us for the past like two days because there's been a lot of ants so we had to get like an exterminator in or whatever and um he was here for the morning until what time is it now oh i'm covering up the time with obs oh no i can't see the time hold up let's uh move obs up a little bit so i can see the time okay it's 11 30 he, he would have left at like 10 30 or whatever maybe uh 10 o'clock ish something, something around there Around the time that I started recording, I made breakfast when he left. Um, egg on toast with a piece of uh, hot salami. It was very, very good. Uh, anyway, he uh, he left around then. And then I could start recording. So I was like, maybe I could have just done it then. But I just stayed in bed and watched uh, Adelaide RS, I think. Yeah, Mr. Adelaide RS. He makes like Iron Man videos. Or he did, anyway. I think he might have quit YouTube by now. I'm not sure. I think he came back for archaeology. Anyway, I was I was just in bed watching that until he left. They're like moving ladders around and stuff. It was it was not like super loud background noise, but it was it was the annoying background noise. You know, people walking up and down the stairs right next to my bedroom wall, moving ladders around, the clanging and just just a very annoying sound in general. Okay, we're leaving. Where's the cloaker? I do not see a cloaker. I see another cloaker, right? I thought I saw two. Yeah. Four? Four is definitely more than two. Oh my goodness. Um, so I had to, to wait a bit for that. I could have gotten... Wow, I got bumped up. I didn't know you could do that. I don't even know that could happen. My goodness. That's incredible. Um, I could have done it before then, but I just didn't want to get out of bed. I'm really tired too, because I stayed up till like 3 a.m. last night, and uh, the exterminator was here at 5:30 or 6 or something like that. So I really didn't get much sleep last night. And uh, I mean, I knew the exterminator was coming, so I'm not like blaming them for not letting me in on it. Like we. We called them yesterday, and we knew that he was coming this morning. 
I knew that before I stayed up late, so it's my fault for staying up late and then uh, being woken up in the morning. A part of me also thought that it might have been quieter, that it might have been like more of an inspection thingy. That's kind of what it was, but I was expecting more of the noise to be on the other side of the house instead of this side of the house. Uh, so I thought I might be able to, to get by with it. I was not, so I'm definitely going to be going for a nap uh, at some point today, probably. I mean, well, no, not probably. I will definitely be going for a nap at some point. I go for naps most days anyway. I love my naps. You know, some people don't like naps. I don't know why. If I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. You're not productive when you're tired. That's just not how it goes, right? Like, once, you, once you're at the point where you're like, oh, I'm falling asleep, but I don't want to go for a nap, you know? It's like 4 o'clock. You're like, I don't want to go for a nap. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Just go for an hour-long nap. You'll feel better. You'll still be able to sleep tonight. Like, okay, stay up an extra hour tonight. Go to sleep. Wake up an extra hour tomorrow. You'll probably not be as tired tomorrow. Not that big a deal. Um, or just, like, go to sleep. <laughs> um... Last night I also had a bit of uh, insomnia. I don't know if it's insomnia. I don't want to call it insomnia. Uh, I haven't been diagnosed with insomnia, but I do have trouble sleeping at times. And by at times, I mean there are periods where I like don't sleep for several days. <laughs> um, I think right now I'm on... For the past like five days, I've got a total of maybe 14 or 15 hours of sleep. Really not as much as your... your you should have, but it's fine. I feel okay. I mean, I am a little tired, but I'm not tired enough to go to sleep yet. I will be going to sleep later. I like taking naps around uh, 2 o'clock usually. It's usually my nap time. Go to sleep around 2, have a nice little... Why did I get bombs first? Come on. Go to sleep for, you know, 3 or 4 hours, get up. It's dinner time. It's a little like mini... or not mini... Um, I was going to say like a little mini breakfast, but mini, uh, breakfast is like a little mini dinner. Um, but like you get up at dinner time roughly when you go to, when I, when I have a nap at two, I generally wake up around dinner time and then I get a little like food when I wake up, which is uh, nice. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I stayed up late last night playing um, RuneScape. It's, it's been an addiction recently. Uh, I don't think it's been a problem. Um, yet. It might get there though, so I'm kind of monitoring my hours and uh, making sure I'm not doing things that are too stupid. So I've been staying up late a few times this week, but I was also like doing things. Um, so, you know. From watching uh, the One Piece anime recently, apparently the, the studio has COVID. Toei Animation or whatever has COVID. So they, uh, they're not actually making any more uh, new episodes until they can come back to work. But I'm, I'm like 30 episodes, 40 episodes behind or something like that. So there's, there's plenty for me to watch. Anyway, I've been watching One Piece and it's just... It's it. One Piece is one of those anime that are just bizarre. So when you, when you started learning about... And this, this is going to be some One Piece spoilers here, so skip like, I don't know, a couple of minutes here. We have to go right about now, somewhere that we can get a nice flat area to take this guy out at, which right here kind of is. This is good. Um, so it's going to be One Piece spoilers for about like a minute, honestly, not long. Uh, so you're at the point in uh, in One Piece where you're learning about this dude that died Like forever ago. We already knew that he died um, We already knew that that was already knowledge that we had But Everybody's like freaking out about it and crying and they're like, oh my god, that's so evil And I'm like, we already knew that this happened and you guys are really overselling this um, That's just kind of the anime that uh, One Piece is um, So no more spoilers Uh and it's just, it's so ridiculous. No, that's not what I want. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Stop, 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 please. I don't want to do containment station. Why did I pick Doom? I don't want to do Doom at all. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been watching it and it's on the, uh, the Kaido arc. 
It's just a, it's a, the, the Wano kingdom. So it's, it's, it's a bad anime. It's a really, really bad anime. But I watch it because, I don't know, like, it's, it's, it's the, uh, the whole sunk cost fallacy. You know, I've already invested so much time into watching it, I may as well see what happens. Right? They're coming up on, um, like, the four main, um, dudes in the, the thing. Like, the four main enemies in the series. They're coming up on that at this point. And I'm like, I don't really know what you're going to do after that. Because you, you've spent the last, like, 900 episodes really building these guys up. And, uh, I'm not sure... How exactly you're gonna continue moving forward? I think I, it sounds like they're gonna do a bit of a butt pull on this um, from some of the just lore and talk that's been going on in the like filler episodes and whatnot. It sounds like they're gonna do a bit of a butt pull, which is not super fun. But hey, it's One Piece, so pretty much everything is a butt pull, you know. Pull it all out of your butt. There's your your anime. The the one thing that I really can't stand about One Piece. So there's there's a lot that about it is like bad, like all of it basically. Um, but the one thing that I super can't get behind is the ridiculous character designs. Like there's this this dude who's apparently the strongest samurai. Okay, he's the he's the he's the strongest samurai. Not of all time, but currently existing. Strongest samurai. My dude weighs like literally 1400 pounds. He's got these big boobs and like a quadruple chin. He moves around lying down on the back of this giant boar. And I'm like, okay, this dude is the strongest samurai. My dude looks like he can't even stand. Um, but for whatever reason, like the fatter you are the stronger you are in this and I just I don't get it um, you know fat people sure maybe they have more muscle but you use that muscle to move the, the muscle is, is used exclusively to move you might be able you might be able to do like a mad leg press but that's about it um, yeah it's just and it's so ridiculous the character designs they just they just do whatever comes to them at that moment, but <laughs> I don't know they're they're not really um, imaginative because the same things always seem to come to them. It's always big fat dudes with like you, you, the more chins somebody has in One Piece, the stronger they are. I don't get it. And then the uh, the sound effects are just incredible because you see this like giant like eighteen thousand pound man walking around and his footsteps sounds like he's walking on silly putties like squeak 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 I get that you're trying to make it sound big and mighty but he sounds very silly putty like to me um, yeah I've watched some of that and uh, it's it's been fun it's a fun anime but not really a good anime you know like, I enjoy it, but, like, just objectively speaking, you know, how, what, what's the, the animation like? What's the, the character design like? Like, it's just, it's not very good. Um, it, it meets the, the minimum standard of quality needed to be enjoyable. Um, and then it, it's, it stops there. <laughs> it's satisfied and it's, uh, it gives up. It doesn't move forward anymore. So it's, uh, it's at that minimum quality, and then there's just so much of it that uh, I'm able to watch it like pretty much indefinitely, and I value that. I value having a lot of content to watch, um, because I have a lot of time, especially now during the, the quarantine. It's it's kind of fun, because I've got um, my hormones, which I have to go refill soon. I've got like two days worth left, so I'm going to have to go and refill my hormones tomorrow or the next day. That's going to be the first time that I've gone out to get something in months. 
Um, I go out like pretty frequently for just walks or just to get some fresh air or something like that. Um, but like to actually go out with a purpose to do something, it, it has not happened in a very long time. Um, so I'm excited about that. And it's like I can't just go out to do it, right? I can't just go out somewhere just because I want to go out and do something, right? Because that's just... Like, the risk is low, okay? The risk of, of like, getting COVID is, is pretty low, consider especially considering there's there's such a small um, quantity of cases on the island I live on. There's there's such a, a, a small number of cases that uh, the risk is, is extremely minor, but... You know, am I going to go put myself at that risk? Me and my whole family at risk just because I want to go out and get some, like, go to a store and do something? Like, no. That's, that's, that's dumb. That's unproductive. That's just dumb. Um, so I haven't done it, but I have an excuse now because I, I have to go to the store to get my, uh, my hormones. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited about that. This is going to be a really long episode because we actually died in the first like part of it, right? We did Outpost earlier, I think. I know that, you know, you're watching this and it's like 13 minutes or whatever. 16 minutes, 16 and a half minutes. Um, and you, know, you might be thinking, well, why don't you just, why don't you just know how long it was since the last one? I mean, I don't know. I'm recording like 14 episodes today. There's a lot of of episodes going through here, they all kind of blend together, you know? They're like, you have to do a little bit of, uh, of leading during Zed time. And I haven't gotten totally used to uh, what that lead looks like. Especially since they actually come from like different sources, like the left gun shoots from the left gun. They don't both come from inside the center of your body like they actually come from the uh, the different parts like the different guns which is really a nice touch um, but it does make it a little bit annoying when you're trying to lead and you get like a perfect lead for the right gun but you were shooting from the left gun and now you've missed <laughs> that's a little bit annoying um, but it is you know that's just something that you have to, to deal with right that's part of the game so it's no problem it is, it is super annoying when it happens, though. But again, that's that's what the game is, right? You just gotta deal with it. Pay attention to what gun you're shooting from, I guess. Or, uh, lead better? Maybe? Is that a scrake? Or a bloat? Or is it a fleshy? Do we got a real fleshy? Please be a real fleshy. No, it's a Scrag. It's a Scrake. I don't care about no Scrakes. I'm going for the uh, M1911s, Deagles, and the 500 Magnums because, because, because those are all prestige weapons and I just, I want to have a full prestige load up. I wish I could put the 1858s in there as well, but... I guess I could if I didn't upgrade the M1911s, right? If I didn't upgrade the M1911s, then I probably could. No, because you don't they don't cost any extra weight to upgrade, is the thing. So no, I can't actually. If they don't cost anything to upgrade, that's why I upgrade them. Right, I remember now. Or no, they don't. They don't add any weight to upgrade, and that's why I upgrade them because they don't. Otherwise, I would have gotten a different weapon. Yeah. Anyway, the uh, the M nineteen eleven, the Deagles, and the five hundred Magnum are all prestige skins. So we start with the eighteen fifty eights, and then we move up to the Deagles, pick up the M nineteen elevens for trash, and uh, that's a, a whole round of uh, purely prestige skins. Once we get to that point. So I just wanted to get used to the, the magnums. Because the recoil on the magnums is very... Oh my good god. The recoil on the magnums is 
insanely high. It's really, really bad. So I wanted to get used to it and use it. It's a, it's all, it's like a pretty powerful weapon. I think it's more powerful than the AF 2011s, um, but you get substantially fewer bullets in it. So it's uh, not necessarily a better gun, but it is, it is stronger. You also have a, a much longer reload time with it. But as a as as one gun, it doesn't matter quite so much to have uh, the faster reload because it's still ultimately reasonably quick to uh, to reload. Um, uh, a single revolver. It's only really when you have like the two revolvers that uh, it slows down too much to be like particularly viable. I know we, I said we'd use the Rhino at some point, and we haven't touched it, I don't believe. At all. Aw, oh, come on. I have gotten better at bashing them, but... It has been so long since I've played that I, I've kind of fallen out of touch of the... The correct bash timing and uh, heights for the... I couldn't get that shot in the air. Too bad. Would have been a sick shot. Would have been a sick shot, dude. Would have been sick. Oh, that didn't even hit him. Goodness gracious me. I don't want to die, please. We're dead. I asked nicely. I did ask nicely. I just couldn't hit the crawlers with my, my M1911s there. That was too bad. Too bad. The crawlers are the... Crawlers and Stalkers and Edars, they're all evil. They're evil! We are going to get another win today, though. I actually think we got one last time. Right? Didn't we? Didn't we? I don't remember. They all blend together. We're going to get another win, though. We can't play on Suicidal, though, because YouTube doesn't like it. That's going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.